Moving into the author introduction, William Shakespeare is the world's most celebrated playwright. He is also Britain's most respected son in the last millennium. He was also celebrated as the best dramatist and a playwright. No reader of Shakespeare will fail to sense this line and echo of the following Shakespeare's Antony and Cleopatra. Age cannot wither her nor custom stale her infinite variety. So these lines infinite variety it talks about how Shakespeare was so much an influence during that period. William Shakespeare has also recreated so many dramatic lines and so many imaginations of people around that period. If you go into the Shakespeare's plays, he has written around like 37 plays. William Shakespeare was a son of John Shakespeare, a Stratford Yeoman and Mary Arden, the daughter of a member of the gentry. Critics also believe that he must have attended the Stratford Grammar School and learned Greek and Latin through some field that Shakespeare knew little Latin and less Greek. Apart from his personal life, he was a very good learner and he was also a very good teacher who could resemble things as it is, as the picture. He can write it also as an essay form and a dramatic form. Shakespeare was the beginner for the uh, influence of Globe Theatre, which was which is more uh, familiar to us through social history of England, and many people think that he would have travelled abroad and he would have learnt knowledge from foreign countries, and that's what has influenced in all his playwrights. So this is all an introduction about who is William Shakespeare and how he has influenced this play. Moving into our topic, Macbeth. One of the greatest tragedies Shakespeare has written. Comparing to his other tragedies like Titus Andronicus, Romeo and Juliet, King Lear, Cymbeline, Hamlet and Othello, Macbeth is considered to be a regicide where the throne is being thrown, the throne, the kingdom is being thrown to Macbeth, one of the general and how he attains the position and how he is using that position to protect himself and being a selfish person he kills his own king and what are the consequences that are being faced by him throughout the play and how does he die at the end of the play and the special characters like lady macbeth banco madcuff malcolm all these people play a major role in this play when you come to the topic of macbeth the character macbeth overall his his play Whatever he does, his things, what is done in the play is overall ruled by Lady Macbeth. Whatever she instructs him is followed by Macbeth. And if you see to the other parts of the play, you could see supernatural elements like the appearance of witches, the moving of Birnam Woods and the birth of the child who could not kill uh, Macbeth. All these prophecies, all these indicate that Macbeth is one such supernatural play that is celebrated till today. Moving into the play Macbeth. Macbeth is divided into five acts and each act consists of how Macbeth attains the position of the king and how does the prophecies come true and then how he is using his position to sustain it and then how he is being killed by the same position. So moving into the play, the background of the play is, starts like this. Macbeth and Banquo are two noble generals who is under the king of Scotland, King Duncan, and by the way they come after the war, they listen to three witches, they encounter them and they actually give three prophecies for them. The first prophecy will um, that Macbeth will become the Thane of Cawder 
and the king hereafter and then banco will never become a king and his future generations will be the king forever so these two prophecies were not easily taken by macbeth and he wanted it to be in existence so macbeth and lady macbeth planned to kill king duncan where the first prophecy of becoming a king comes to an existence where this gives macbeth a lot of confidence that that he will be the future king forever and he cannot be killed the second act starts with the plan of lady macbeth and macbeth to kill king duncan so the exact plan was lady macbeth will drug the soldiers who are outside king duncan's room and these two macbeth and lady macbeth will go and kill duncan with their own hands and then they will escape from that place and the soldiers will be blamed for the death of king duncan so this is the exact plan and that's how they executed it too and after the accusation of the soldiers for the murder of king duncan macbeth crowns himself as the king which is not liked by madcuff because according to the scotland tradition their own son has to be the next king but if you see in the play this character donald brain and malcolm will run away to save their own lives that the sword has come to their father's head as well as it will come to them and they might also get killed that was their thought and that's why they ran away from those places and this clearly made a way for macbeth to attain the position in the third act in order to preempt the witch's prophecy regarding banco and his son macbeth makes sure that banco and his generations are killed so that macbeth can enjoy his position of being a king forever but what happens is banco dies and his son escapes from that place so macbeth is basically haunted with banco's ghost and in the meantime he is very disturbed during the meetings and the banquets held in the king's palace so in the banquet macbeth sees banco's ghost occupying his chair he is thrown into fits that actually disturbs him a lot mentally and physically macbeth becomes dull and he could not continue being happy with the position what he have since he encountered the ghost of uh, banco he gets disturbed so as soon as he encounters the ghost of banco he decides to meet the three witches again to get confirmation about his prophecy the act 4 starts with macbeth visiting the weird sisters macbeth goes to the heath and consults the weird sisters he is directed to beware of madcuff the thane of fire he is told that no normal man who is born of a woman has the power to harm him and that he will not be conquered until bernam oats come to dinsane so macbeth and lady macbeth taken upon their quarters they go to the castle of dinsane macbeth learns that no normal person no normal man who is born out of the normal delivery from a woman can kill him and the other prophecy is the woods comes to the pa- uh, the palace the castle so that doesn't happen naturally right so here shakespeare uses supernatural elements to prove that his writing is not alone about the interest of people but it is also about what he has learned from others and what his knowledge is so in act 5 the last part of the play where macbeth learns macbeth gets to know about the truth that madcuff has joined hands with malcolm and donald brain and they are preparing for a war with macbeth macbeth is ready because he has the prophecies the two prophecies that are actually supernatural but he still believes that if that comes true he might be killed so according to the prophecies he believed that that wouldn't happen but it it turns into a wise versa so the army moves towards the uh, the castle 
and the uh, the men the army men they cross through the birnam woods and they come for the war and that time madcuff informs magbeth that he was not born of a woman he was surgically taken from his mother womb in uh, in a recent generation we call cesarean right so shakespeare had a knowledge about this earlier itself so that he could write such kind of a play that involves today's generation informations so that kind of a writer was shakespeare and if you see at the end macbeth is being killed by madcuff and the head of macbeth is taken towards malcolm and uh, uh, sorry madcuff and then he is um he is getting a confirmation that macbeth is being killed and mag malcolm becomes the king and so and so the generation becomes the king of scotland At the end of the play malcolm becomes the king and macbeth's head is being served to madcuff so after this malcolm rewards everyone who has helped him in the war and he appoints them as earls the sub ministers and the sub people for his country and he takes a good care of scotland and his legacies are being token by the generations and the kings after him so this is how the play macbeth ends it t- it tells about how a king can be demolished a king can be deconstructed just because of his ambitiousness towards the position so macbeth teaches one of the major thing that ambitious men has to be ambitious only when it is right thank you